Hello, today we're going to be talking about metric conversions. So metric conversions are something that you've probably done before. We just want to make sure we're all on the same page with it. So you've used a ruler to measure in millimeters, maybe centimeters, maybe even inches. That's your house. Use a graduated cylinder to measure milliliters of liquid. And maybe you've ran a 5K or someone in your family's ran a 5K. I know my son will ask me, well, how many miles is that? Well, right now we're not going to convert from miles to kilometers, but a 5K is 5 kilometers. So we definitely could convert that to how many meters that is or centimeters that is just by doing regular metric conversions. So this is something that you may have seen before. Some of these units or these prefixes. These are prefixes that would go in front of a unit. What type of unit could they go in front of? Well, if it was distance, it could be a meter. If it was volume, it could be a liter. If it was uh, an amount, you know, we haven't talked about this yet, but moles is the amount in chemistry. Maybe a mass, that would be grams. Or pressure in chemistry is measured in pascals, along with many other units for pressure. But that's a common unit for pressure in chemistry. Now, those would be the units. And what we have up here are the prefixes. So here is a prefix, mega, kilo, hecto, deca, deci, centi, milli, micro, and nano. So the very largest of the prefixes down here, giga. And here is, as we get smaller and smaller and smaller, and nano is the smallest that we'll talk about. There are bigger and there are smaller besides this. For instance, if you buy a external hard drive, instead of having gigabytes of memory now, it has terabytes of memory. Uh, many, many things in the atomic world or atoms are measured in not nanometers, but picometers, even smaller. But for, for, for this course, this is good. So I'd like you to press pause right now and go ahead and jot down what we have so far. All right, welcome back. Uh, we're going to move on here and talk about what we use this for. So here are the letters for those prefixes. All right, you'll notice that the giga is a uppercase G, mega, uppercase M, Kilo, lowercase k, hecto, lowercase h. Deca is a lowercase da, so if it was a decaliter, for instance, it would be d-a-l. Uh, deci is just a d by itself. A centi is just a c. Milli is an m. This is the one that you maybe haven't seen before. Micro is a mu. That is a Greek letter mu. M-u is how it's spelled. And it is looks like a u with a stem on the front. And nano is just a lowercase n. This, these numbers represent how large these numbers are compared to our base unit, like a one meter. For instance, a kilometer is 10 to the third. So that means that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. If we go to the opposite side, a centimeter is 10 times 10 to the negative a second. So that means that there is 0 0.01 meters in one centimeter. Or another way to look at that is that for every one meter, there is 100 centimeters. So these are very small units, nanometers, a bit the smallest of all the things. A one nanometer would be very small compared to one gigameter. And nine and negative nine would be 18 powers of 10, larger or smaller, depending on which way you went. So again, press pause and jot down the information here, the prefixed letters and the amount, the size of those prefixes compared to the base unit. When you get done, go ahead and press play again. Welcome back. I went one step further than I wanted to. So 
to head back real quick. I want to talk about what we're going to use this for. So we're going to use these conversions, just or these um, prefixes, to convert from one metric unit to another. Now, you'll need to memorize these. And here's just a quick little memorization uh, method. Some of you may have used this before. The beginning letters, King Henry died drinking chocolate milk. So that gets you the first, or the six, three on either side of your base unit. As far as the other ones go, giga, mega, micro, and nano, if you just want to look at those separately, those four separately, they are in alphabetical order from left to right. G, M, 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 E, then M, I, then N. So that be, could be a way to help you memorize them, because you will need to be able to know how to convert from one to another. And the converting that we'll do in chemistry is just moving the decimal back and forth, because it tends to work the easiest. We will talk about unit analysis or dimensional analysis next chapter. But for now, we're just going to talk about simple movement of the decimal. So for instance, let's say that we have a measurement of 1.31 meters. And I want to know how many centimeters are in that. So I would go for my base unit here, meters. And I want to get to centimeters. So I would take one, two steps to the right to do that. That means I'm going to move the decimal one, two steps to the right. 131 centimeters. Go ahead and jot that down. Now, what if I have a different number? Let's say I make a measurement with a graduated cylinder and I get it to be 4.26 milliliters. And I'm curious how many liters that is. So I go from milli to regular liters. So from milli to regular liters, I'm going to go one, two, three spots to the left. So we'll go one, two, three. We'll move that decimal. So it would be 0 0.00426 liters would be the answer for how many liters would be in 4.26 milliliters. What if we cross the unit? So let's say that we have um, a decaliter. So let's say that there's 1.4 decaliters. And I want to know how many centiliters that is. So I'm going from deca. Go ahead and erase some things that I have. I'm going to go from deca. One, two, three spots to the right. So each, even the unit counts as a spot, a movement of the decimal. And we'll go three spots to the right with the decimal. So then these two spots are going to be zeros as placeholders. So 1,400 centiliters in 1 1.4 decaliters. All right, you may have been wondering what is going on with these dots. Well, what happens after you get past milli there is no unit right next to the mill. You have to go move the decimal three spots before you get to the next unit, which is micro. And then you have to go three more spots to get to nano. The same thing happens over here. A mega meter or mega liter is 1,000 times or three decimal points further, 1,000 times larger than a kiloliter. A giga is 1,000 times or three decimal spots further than a mega meter. So let's just do an example like that. Let's say we have 0 0.088 microliters. And you want to know how many centiliters are in that. We would go from the micro, and each, each of these little dots is a decimal movement. Two, three, four, back. So I would go one, two, three, four, back. So I have the decimal here. So that means that one, two, three, four, along with the already fifth one that was there, 0, 0, 0, 0, 
0.0088 centiliters. So those would count for a decimal movement. Now, I would like you to try these eight problems. I would like you to write down everything that you see on this page. Write down the number one and exactly what you see, number two and exactly what you see, and I want you to figure out what the conversion would be for each one of them. And when you get done, I want you to bring that to class tomorrow so we can take a look at what you figured out.